PineGrow 7.4 introduces a new CSS tree inspector. This feature is similar to the Tailwind class inspector from version 7.3. The inspector makes it very easy to work with CSS styles. To open the CSS tree inspector, go to the style panel. In visual editor options, you'll see open CSS tree command in the menu. Keep in mind, this feature is still in beta. It might not be fully polished yet. Your feedback will help us decide if this approach is the right one and if we should continue to develop it further. The CSS tree inspector works like browser developer tools. It displays all the styles, inline, and CSS rules that apply to the currently selected element as well as to all its parent elements. To change existing values, simply drag the underlined values with the mouse or click on color swatches to change the colors. You can comment out a property by unchecking its checkbox and then uncomment it again to bring it back. To delete a property, click on the value. You can edit the value here, but if you delete the value and press enter, the whole property is deleted. Adding a new property is easy. Click on the orange line between existing properties or click on the plus button. From there, you can choose properties from various categories or you can search directly for the values. For example, MT80 will create a top margin of 80. For style attributes, click on the plus icon to save the inline style as a CSS rule. This mirrors the functionality of our current style panel. The CSS tree inspector is also compatible with SAS styles, making it even more versatile. It has several useful tools. For example, if you click on media query, you can choose another value. Or clicking on this count of how many matching elements are found on the page lets you select one of them. We encourage you to try the CSS tree inspector and let us know how it works for you. We've received great feedback for our Tailwind class tree inspector, and we believe that this new feature will be just as helpful for professional users.